Hi, my name is Beth Tumnella. Welcome to Mrs. T Chem Talk Teacher Tech. This is going to be a little information about how to use a Wacom tablet and Kami and how easy it is to do that. Um, please like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. I will be posting some more teacher tech videos um, that I'm just trying to share here some of the things that I learned while I was virtual learning in the spring and as we are preparing to go back to school and we may have some virtual components at different, part, different points in the country, uh, I think this might be helpful. So the first thing to do is to go to camiapp.com. If you don't already have an account, you're just going to go through and create an account. Then when you are going to work in Camiapp, you can open from Google Drive. And for example, I'm going to open this one up in here. And one of the things that I like to do in Kami is to uh, maybe make an answer key that I'm going to share with my students. And using the Wacom tablet, I don't have to get use all that guesswork with trying to use the mouse like this. I can very easily write sort of the same way that I could write on my smart board. It's very easy to do. So I have, I usually use the drawing. I can adjust the thickness of my pen. I can adjust the color of my pen. I can erase. I can draw shapes. So not that I need it for this, but I could draw a line. I can make a triangle. Um, you know, I could go and erase that then. Um, I can also add annotations. I can do more shapes. There are some tools that are locked for whether or not you have the uh, upgraded version or not, and I happen not to. You can also add a text box, you can add a comment, and even here, here's some other markup tools um, that you can highlight. Um, you know, you can use a highlighter, um, you can add a text box, like I said, um, you can do this where you can highlight big areas. So if I wanted to say to a student like, okay, well this whole thing you, you have to redo, I can highlight a big area very easily all at once. And now besides using Kami for a means to make a digital answer key, I'm also going to pause this for a second. You won't even notice, uh, but I'm going to pause this for a second and just open up a different item. Okay, so here I have another way that you can use Kami, and that would be if you want to use the Wacom tablet along with the Kami app, you can use it to fill out a rubric if you have one where normally you would do this on paper. So let's say, um, you know, that the student's name is Sally Smith and the other group members were Joe and Kevin and Mary. And now we can go through and notice it stays where I put it. And I can go through and I can say, okay, well, it was possible points um, for the total here, and I can put my deductions. So this complete storyboard with all that, I'm gonna say that was a minus one. Uh, the content and the visual interpretation has no deduction. Project is well executed, no deduction. Um, oh, the project was short. So I'm gonna say, that maybe the person gets a minus two. And, and you really, you can get the picture here. So I can do all of my deductions. My total deductions were a minus three, which means that the grade was a 97. And I can write in some comments here like, great job, next time. look at your time because that was one of the things i said i said it wasn't the right amount of time here um 
So you can see that you can really easily write on this. And if even if you aren't using this on a rubric, you can also, if a student hands you in on Google Classroom or some other digital platform, if a student is handing you in, in a, 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 any kind of PDF assignment, you can write your grade up on the top. You can write yourself a little, you can write them a little note, good job. And you can also like can you circle things and edit in the same ways that you would edit writing with a pen. But now you're using the Wacom tablet and the program Kami. And this, like I said, is the unlocked version. This is the free version as far as I know. It links directly in with Drive. You can add it to your Chrome extensions and it, you can use this. If I was returning this, I could actually return this right back to Google Classroom and the student who handed in their assignment in Google Classroom can get the marked up version that I've done back in Google Classroom. Um, so again, this was a little video on how to use a Wacom tablet in Kami and just how convenient that is. I actually use my Wacom tablet in Kami to fill out PDFs that people email me if I have to sign something rather than printing it out and then scanning it back in. I actually do open up Kami on my computer and use my Wacom tablet to sign things and fill out forms as well. Uh, hopefully this was a good video for you. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you.